All right, ladies and gents, it is not juicy at all. I'm not going to lie. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and a quick disclaimer that this video is not a financial advice. Now, guys, let's have a look. All right. So first of all, I am not happy what I'm seeing, but obviously it is what it is. The whole market is dipping, right? So now the question is how you are going to treat that, right? Are you going to treat this as an opportunity or as a reason to get out of crypto and pretty much leave with empty pockets right so for me well i will treat that as an opportunity so now guys as you probably know that's caused due to japanese stock suffering the largest decline since black monday in 1987 that is huge so we dipped 26 percent and we haven't seen a such huge crash for a while right let me actually switch it to the weekly time frame guys so as you guys can see the last time we have dipped so badly for Japanese market that was during the COVID crash that was 30% and as you guys can see at the moment we are dipping around well 26% the stock market is plummeting all right so Amazon minus 10% Tesla negative 10 blah 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 everything is going down and Taiwanese stock market crashes to the worst day in 57 years that is huge all right and now on the flip side guys the only good thing is that on a six monthly heat map for BTC we do have a lot of liquidity above obviously the current trading price all right so before I'm going to get into the Caspas chart let me actually go into BTC and actually the determine of where we could actually see the proper bottom so now we have dipped into that area of opportunity once in that white coffee accumulation schematic which i believe is not valid at this point in time because obviously that is considered as a black swan event however last time black swan event happened in the previous cycle that created a beautiful opportunity to scoop up more okay so first of all if we are going to zoom out a little bit and if we are going to look at the weekly time frame that doesn't really look that scary because we still do have this support that leads us back to november 2022 where this cycle actually started so things are really not that bad i know that they are very not juicy okay i lost a lot of money as well but obviously on spot i'm not over leveraged so i do hope that you haven't been really over leveraged but now coming back to the previous black swan event all right so the previous black swan event let me have a look that was basically march 2020 that was obviously the virus itself so we saw a crash of 62 percent for btc and btc went to as low as 3k 700 dollars right so now let's have a look how much we are experiencing at the moment right from these highs we are experiencing 28 all right so it's still not that bad if we are going to compare it to the previous crash all right nonetheless it is not juicy so again what i'm going to say is that it really depends on how you're going to treat this situation right if you're going to treat this as an opportunity i do believe that sooner rather than later or later depend depends on what we are going to see market is going to reverse at some point in time anyways all right so let's have a look at the chart guys so if it comes to the chart we have dipped below the chart all right the first time in history so guys that is well in my opinion at least nothing to be worried about you know crypto is not going away but obviously it is a black swan event where everybody is capitulating so again what i'm going to do i am going to buy the dip all right so now the next strong level of support is probably in here as you guys can see you know with proper confirmations on a weekly you know in here but unfortunately with these black swan events we don't really you know really rely on technicals right the second one is going to be here so could we see caspa trading at 12 cents before we are actually going to see pump towards the upside and proper reversal that's a great question and the thing that we are going to have to anticipate is obviously the etf inflows from well today but we are going to see them tomorrow okay i do hope that blackrock is going to you know scoop up some more bitcoin they are going to buy the dip and that is going to well let's say push that towards the upside okay but if they are not well in this particular scenario we are going to see more downside and pain so looking at hourly time frame and looking at the daily things are looking very very ugly all right bread minus 26 percent render minus 20 all right on though everything pretty much so guys i'm not even looking at my portfolio portfolio i don't want to look there the only thing i want to look is that how much i'm going to deploy into the market now all right let's have a look at a couple of charts that are a little bit of more bullish all right so titan is saying that bitcoin just experienced a massive flush down to the bottom of the right 
and gold descending broadening wedge. A relief rally from here wouldn't be surprising. Well, let's see guys how that is going to play out because, you know, we already have dipped towards the downside, okay? For BTC, we're already sitting at 51K, all right? However, you know, the wick is below that 50K, all right? That is a strong level of support in here for BTC based on the technicals, but let's see how that is going to play out. But, well, he is definitely more bullish. Now, weekly time frame, and that is a rebound, right? That is basically brewing according to Mr. Titan. So he's saying that the trend line and Kijin, the blue, are significant lines to monitor in the immediate short term. BTC has reacted well around them since the beginning of the year. So he thinks that the rebound at these levels is likely. So let's see guys how that is going to play out because last time that happened we had the bounce. Old coins according to Mr. Scalping Pro. So that is a total crypto market cap that is excluding top 10 dominance on a weekly time frame. He is saying that the last time some of his micro charts looked invalidated, we saw a strong recovery within a very short time, COVID crash and FTX crash. By the way, altcoins touched the 0.75 line in the Mayer multiple, like in 2020 and 2023. Both times it was a bottom range. Guys, let's see, all right? That happened in 2020, 2023, and 2024, right? So based on these technicals, obviously we could see, you know, bounce towards the upside. Let's see. But again, that comes back to my question. It depends how you are going to view this situation. Now, monthly chart for BTC, and this is MFI. So Bitcoin Money Flow Index, MFI, shows regular pattern on monthly chart. According to the pattern, we are just in pre-bull run stage. After this stage, BTC will enter the real bull run stage. Guys, again, I know that this is not really looking very juicy, but obviously that is a short term. So let's see. Obviously, I am still bullish, right? Short term, I am, well, let's say bearish, but I do believe that that should be basically bullish because I believe that the pain that we are buying today, if you are buying, well, let me know in the comments down below if you are buying. I believe is going to pay later on now guys let's have a look at one more chart right let's come back to the dominance all right oh there is dominance on a weekly chart all right so let me move this beautiful arrow okay and let's zoom it out a little bit because if we are going to compare how many percent altcoins actually dipped in the previous cycle when we saw the dip right so if we are going to measure it from here that's 45 percent and if we are going to measure it from here, that is basically 50%, okay? So let's have a look what we are sitting at the moment, all right? So we are sitting at 33. So even if it looks so bad at the moment, I don't think that this is something very, very bad, all right? But again, guys, I am holding spot positions and I am not being shaken out by this short-term situation. And I do believe that if you want to make some cash in this market, you should be picking up that pain at the moment. Not a financial advice, of course. You guys do what you want with your money. That's it what I've got for you today. I hope that you have guys enjoyed and I wish you having a great day. Peace and love crypto.